Hello, 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 my YouTube family. I'm back. I'm back. Well, you know, I didn't really go far anyway, because I didn't go far. You saw me, what, Saturday? And it's Tuesday. So it's not like, you know, did I really give you enough time to miss me? Because I missed you guys so freaking much. You have no idea. Y'all have no idea. So it was back to work. You know how hard it is sometimes when you have to jumpstart yourself back into the routine again? Yeah. I can't say it was difficult. It wasn't really difficult. But, um, you know, like I heard the alarm again this morning. And I was like, uh, -huh. that's a foreign sound to me. Only seven days, people. Only seven days had passed by. And I haven't heard the alarm. And it was like, eh. It was like I'd been away for like a month. Seriously. So everything is back to normal. I don't know what the hell's going on out there. Some banging and whatnot. Every day is a different thing, people. Every day is a different thing. So um, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I was a, I was a grown-up yesterday. I was a grown-up. Yeah, I was a grown-up today, too. Let me tell you. I was a grown-up yesterday. And um, I did wake up early enough. When I say early, I mean, you know, like nine. And uh, I got up and I did a massive, massive food shopping. Can I tell you? Food shopping, people. Yes, food shopping. At least that will end the month. You know, like it'll take me into September before I have to shop again. Hopefully. So I bought, you know, everything that I needed. I needed meats, poultry, rice beans, all the good stuff that I need to cook with. I haven't cooked for a very long time. So instead of spending money going through the drive-thru, I think it's about time I be adult about it and, you know, whip out a pan every now and then and cook my own damn food. So I was a grown-up. I bought a massive amount of food yesterday. And, you know, at least now I can, you know, be adult about it now. And as for today's being an adult, well, there was a potluck lunch going on somewhere in the building. So I didn't get to have my lunch until at least 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I go to lunch at 1.30, people, so I had to wait an extra half hour, which is fine by me because, you know, the later I go, the later I come back and the lesser time I have to, to finish off the day. So the later I go is no, no great shakes. For me, at all. So, um, the woman that covers for me, that covered for me the entire week, she didn't even bother to say good morning to me. She was like, oh, and by the way, let me let you know, I'm going to be out on Friday, and I'm going to be out next Thursday and Friday. I was like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? I guess I guess it was hard for her to cover for me this, this week. I don't know. Whatever. I, I really, I really don't care. So potluck, potluck lunch, and I guess a lot of people brought in different foods and such. And the woman that covered for me brought a plate up for me with all these delicious, delicious stuff. She had a plate full of regular lunch food and a plate full of desserts. I brought the desserts home. We're talking chocolate cupcakes, chocolate cookies. So if I complain about not being able to fit into my clothes... You will know why. But the potluck lunch that she brought for me, I had some pasta. I had some um, beef patties. Beef patties now. I had some lasagna, some ravioli, some sh some fried shrimp. Free lunch, people. I ain't going to complain, okay? So, of course, you know that when I, when I have my lunch at my desk or lunch is brought to me on my regular lunch hour, I go trala lying around, you know, CVS, Rite Aid, and all of that. So I went to the to the CVS. I didn't go to Rite Aid. I went to CVS. I was determined to spend some money. And I saw some things that I could have bought. I walked out of there with nothing, people. Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. So I got into my car, and I was like, well, aren't you proud of your damn self? Because there's nothing for you to buy. There's nothing. There's nothing for you to buy. There was another fuchsia-ish lipstick that I could have didn't. 
Didn't do it. Didn't do it. So I'm proud of myself for being an adult and restraining myself and realizing um, there are lipsticks that you haven't even used yet. So walk out the store. And I did. And that brings us to lips of the day. Now this is a lip combo, people. Yes, yes it is. It is a lip combo. Thanks to Cosmetic Couturier. You know I spoke about her before. And I and in one of my videos, when I was originally wearing the color that I'm about to tell you, I posted a link. But then I had to delete the link because she deleted the video. So, but I remembered what it was. So that's why I did it myself. Because when she did it, oh my heavenly sweet Jesus, it looked so good on her. So this is, I guess, a thank you video to Cosmetic Couturier for putting that lip combo together. And thankfully, I did not forget it. And the lip combo is, people, well, the, the main lipstick is my MAC Riveting Rose. Riveting Rose, people. That is Riveting Rose. Let me do a swatch of Riveting Rose for you. This is such a gorgeous shade. Look at it. It's like a deeper fuchsia or a deeper magenta. It is absolutely sensational. That, this is it on its own. So I have no problems with it by itself. But I am going to start to do lip combos now because I have so many things that I should just combine them. If they work together, just combine them and see what you come up with. So Cosmetic Couturier, she put... Riveting Rose, and she combined it with a pink lip liner. This was the step-by-step -step process. Let me put the top on this. She lined and filled her lips with a pinkish, nudish lip liner. I think she used Naked by Urban Decay. Well, I don't have Naked by Urban Decay, but what I do have, I took its what took its place for me was... Naturistics Color Fix Lip Liner in Rose. I don't even know if they have this anymore, people. So this is Naturistics Color Fix in Rose. So I filled my lips with that. Lined and filled my lips with this. But on top of the liner, I let my lips, you know, be pink. But I lined my lips again with MAC. Which one is this one? Current. Looking all sad and pitiful. Look at this. Scratched up like it's been in a cat fight or something. So I, I, I lined my lips again with Current on top of this liner. But this is what I lined and filled my lips with. This I just lined on top of. Then I put my MAC Riveting Rose on top of that pink liner filled it on top of riveting rose this was where she really did it people she took a pink lip gloss I don't remember what she used but I remember the kind of pink that it was and I have a similar pink this is by Chanticale I have a mini Chanticale in the color Mirth. It's a mini Chanticale lip gloss in the color Mirth. And that's what's giving it its shine. And it changes the color ever so slightly. It, it lightens it a little bit. It looked so good on her, I had to do it myself. I had to do it myself. And this is what I come out with. Loving this look. Loving this look. Okay, loving the combo, loving the look. So it's Mac Riveting Rose with Chanticale Mirth. She used a um, I don't remember what the lip gloss was, but she used a pinkish lip gloss on top. I remember that, and I remember it was this kind of pink. It's like a milky pink, 
and this is a milky pink so you could use any kind of milky pink on top of riveting rose if you have riveting rose so that's it people let me show you what mirth looks like on its own it may look kind of clear well now it's got the the brush has got riveting rose on top so it's not going to give you the original color anymore this is so sad and plus it's almost finished so I can barely get to it. It's pointless because it looks like it's lighter than this. But now that the brush has riveting rose on top, it discolored it a little. But you get the idea. You get the idea. This is this is what you come out with. This is what you come out with. And people, I am in love. I'm in love. I am going to start doing lip combos. From now on, I have enough things to experiment with that I can create my own damn colors. Okay, so thank you, Cosmetic Couturier, for giving me the idea for this. I already wrote some other lip combos because I've been doing, you know, I've been doing the whole YouTube thing. Just type in lip combos and just look at all the videos. And I came up with a couple of ideas myself. Well, I didn't come up with the ideas. They gave me the ideas. So I am going to do lip combos from now on. Every now and then. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'll take a week to do lip combos. And then I'm so in love with lip combos now because either way, you're going to use the gloss on top. The gloss finishes the whole look. So either way, I am going to use a lipstick. I'm going to use a lip gloss, no matter what. And different liners, of course. So this was the look for today. I love it. I absolutely, positively love this look okay yes loving the look people and I don't know if you can tell but I did that whole Kim Kardashian with the, the, the powder if you could tell there's a little bit of brightness under my eyes you let me know people because this morning it looked I, I thought my face looked a little bit brighter and I still think my face looks a little bit brighter so I use the um, Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. I use the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. And, you know, you open it this way. And it comes with a little pad. But it comes with these, these little holes. You know the holes. The sifter. It comes in a sifter. And what I did was I took a sponge, dabbed it in here, and then... You know, now you have to do the concealer first and then you take the, you do the concealer and then you, you know, you, you blend, that's the word I'm looking for, blend the concealer in and then you take this and you put it on top of the concealer and then just let it sit. So you're looking like a ghost for a couple of minutes while you let it sit, you let it settle in, you do your contouring on the side you do your contouring on the side you put a little contour over here you put a little contour bronzer or contour you know you you contour with the bronzer so you take the bronzer you contour you contour you do a little that you do a little that little under here a little under there then when you feel that well a minute or so will have gone by then you take your well I took my fan brush which I put it back up there I'm not going to get it and I wiped the excess of the powder away. Okay, then you take your face powder, your entire face powder, and you dab ever so slightly. Don't take a bunch of face powder and go over the white because that defeats the purpose. Then you're gonna, you're gonna erase the glow. You just tap ever so lightly. Tap, 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 tap your face powder all around. Then you take your blush. And you go over the contour ever so lightly. You go over the contour. And that that's really it in a nutshell, people. That's it in a nutshell. So I'm keeping these sponges. I know I threw them away the first time. I don't know why because I just didn't know what I was doing. I'm keeping this little powder puff in my brightening powder. Sonia Kashuk. So, so far, Sonia Kashuk is doing me good because I like the way my face comes out. Just a tad bit on the brighter side. You could see it. You could see it right around here. 
You just leave the whitening powder right there. It doesn't leave like a cast. If you do it correctly, it, it's not going to leave a cast of like whiteness. If you blend it in ever so subtly, not going over it with your face powder, you're going around it and you're going to contour and then you're going to blush. But you have to, when you, when you wipe the excess out, you have to wipe it and blend it at the same time. So that's what's going to leave you with the nice glow, that nice white. I can't really say bright. I, I should use the word bright. The bright glow right here. So I think I did a good job. I like the way my makeup came out today. I especially love my lips. So that's it, people. That is it in a nutshell. I have rambled on. I've told you what I need. I did today. The blush that I did use was um, Boots, number seven, natural blush in Candy Pink. This is Candy Pink. Okay. That's Candy Pink. There we go. And that's it. I had a great day. I hope you all had a great day. I am glad to be back doing my lips of the day, honey. You're going to see a lot of purples because, you know, purples and fuchsias. And y'all, y'all going to see a lot of that. You may see me. You may see some browns again. You know, I'm going to do a whole gamut. I'm going to do a whole gamut. I'm going to just dig into my stash, do a little shop my own stash kind of a thing. And um, because I need to, I, I'm not ordering any other thing until December. So I, everything came, so I don't have anything to wait for or what have you. So now, up until now, until December, you won't see anything new. Well, it may be new to you because you've probably never seen all of my lipsticks before or all of my glosses. So they're going to be relatively new to you. But I'm just going to shop my own stash, what I've got. Come out with being creative and I'll do the best I can. Okay? So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the whole look. And um, hit me up. Hit me up. I'm anxious to know what you have to say. I'm loving my lips, people. I am mm, 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 loving my lips. Thank you, Cosmetic Couturier. She probably doesn't even watch my videos. But, you know, I'll tell her that I mentioned her if she's interested. And on that note, I am going, people. I'm glad Tuesday is down. Two down, people. Two. Even though I came back to work just today, but it's two down. Three more to go. Okay? So you know I love you. I will talk to you tomorrow. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.